Hi, today we're going to have a look at my EDC, but it's not a normal EDC, it's a heretical one. Back in the day, people used survival tins, but then they found out that tins were alright for making char cloth, but they were no good for boiling water or making cups of tea, so people moved on to a survival pouch. We'll have a look at my survival pouch, but an EDC must be an everyday carry. If you haven't got it with you, you can guarantee you're going to need it. If it's too heavy, bulky, or doesn't fit in with society, you won't carry it. Your EDC has got to be light and unobtrusive, as we'll find out, and we'll see how I change mine. In the front pocket, I've got a fire steel and striker, some adhesive dressings, a signal mirror covered with cling film to stop it being scratched, and some old bicycle inner tube for ranger bands and as tinder. There are three ways of making fire. Lifeboat matches, boot matches in a plastic bag, and also a, a El Cheapo lighter secured with a cable tie to stop it opening up and the gas coming out when you don't want it. I've got a torch with a battery kept outside, a compass with a whistle attached, a multi-tool, a wire saw, and last but not least, the open L folding lockable knife. However, this pack had three main problems. One, it was very bulky, so people noticed it, especially when you put it on your belt. Two, at over 12 ounces, it was getting noticeably heavy when you've got it in a jacket pocket. And three, the knife was dangerous. The blade is three inches or just over eight centimeters long, and it's a lock knife. And if you look at the picture, you can see it looks pretty vicious, even though it's a good working day-to-day -day knife. All these things made me rethink, do I really need this everyday carry in an urban environment? Especially as wherever else I go, I've always got an emergency kit in my rucksack or car. So I had to think about it and I came up with a different answer. The new kit is much smaller. It's about the size of a pack of playing cards. It's lighter, you can carry it unobtrusively and it's designed exclusively for the city. It's this small size because it's less likely to attract attention. You can put it in your pocket, you can leave it there and you can forget about it. The newest thing in the kit is the cape. It's cheap, it's lightweight. Although I've never used it in the rain, I have worn it and repacked it. I was hoping to use a button compass but I had the middle of an old compass anyway, so to save some money I used that. I've got a lighter torch, which is covered with duct tape, and the end is secured with a cable tie to stop being pressed down and losing gas. I've got a mirror in there for signalling, for checking out any injuries to your face if that should happen. Because I need glasses for reading, I've got a lens in there as well. To keep the things separate, I've got all the items in one plastic cash bag and the poncho in another plastic cash bag. To stop them rattling about, I've got them both contained in a third plastic cash bag. Just to stop the cash bags being worn and the contents being damaged, I normally carry this setup in a thick plastic bag, a small one that wraps around the thing and doesn't make the pockets too bulky. The last thing is the knife. It's small, it's a pen knife, it's an obtrusive, it doesn't look dangerous, it doesn't attract attention, and it can be explained away. This new kit may be different to everybody else's, therefore heretical. However, it suits me, and if it gets you thinking about your kit, then I'm happy. Stay safe, stay prepped.